Hello, America. My name is Matthew B. Moore, and I'm here on a mission to keep you from running crap. Today, we're going to talk about the new Star Trek movie. Now, this is a cool movie. Lens flares. It's a cool movie. Now, the Star Trek nerds are going to get mad. You screwed up the timeline. I don't like the new characters. I like the original Kirk. Lens flare. No! There's not going to be anybody to re replace Shatner and, and Nimoy. Ooh, DeForest Dunn. Lens flares. No one can replace DeForest Kelly. The original Bones, you just can't do it. The guy's amazing. God rest, man. What a fantastic actor. The new guy just doesn't cut it. But everybody else, I mean, they really nail the character. Lens flares in my face. And if you want more Star Trek nerd, then you're just going to have to get used to these new guys. And I like the new guys. Lens flare. And the new Star Trek movie is just that. A new Star Trek movie. Lens flare. So they let J.J. Abrams get a hold of this, and he put out something that rocked. It's a kick-ass movie. It's extremely engaging. The script is the script is is pleasant. It's delightful. Um, the action is intense. The special effects are fantastic. Every other shot's got a freaking lens flare in it. That's pretty well written, with the exception of a couple of places where it's just like, okay, that's about the most unlikely thing that's probably ever happened, but I guess it's wacky. 85 lens flares a minute. There's some effects that just blow your mind. Uh, the Romulan ship from the future is amazing looking. Uh, and they show the front and the back side of a black hole. That's fantastic looking. Uh, there's a lot of just really intense battle scenes, which is flawless special effects. Um, the, the entire opening scene, oh, it's just this this huge emotional explosive ride that, I mean, it kicks your ass. Lens flare, fun this, fun that, entertaining this, explosion that. And the lens flare, there hasn't been a good Star Trek movie since uh, First Contact. Lens flares on lens flares. I like Star Trek, I'm a little bit of a Star Trek nerd. I mean, I don't go to Trek fests and I don't have like some hidden Klingon ears. I mean, uh, some Vulcan ears, you know, somewhere in the closet that I put on when my wife's not home and get naked. It's like, oh wait, wow, there's a lens flare. Whatever. I just don't like being annoyed when I'm trying to watch something that I'm enjoying. Other than that, J.J. Abrams, my man. You did good. You even got your giant vagina-mouthed creature in there running around in the snow. Lens flares on planets! It's cut, great. It's shot, great. It's a great movie. And as a matter of fact, it's, it's cool. It's one of those ones that you sit down, on, uh, you know, like a cold night, wrap up in a blanket with your whoever, and you get some hot cocoa and you kick back and eat popcorn and drink sodas and just have a kick-ass time watching a good movie. It takes you away. It does, it takes you away. So if it takes you away, it gets a Jimmy. And a Jimmy is one of those movies that takes you for a ride. You can forget about everything. You can escape into the future with this awesome piece of entertainment. Except for the lens. Now, if you're in doubt, just stop. If you're a big Star Trek fan, you're gonna get mad, don't even think about it. Just lock in and enjoy. America, I'm on your side. I wouldn't lie to you. As long as you can deal with that, you'll have a good time. Peace out.